Welcome back to the Doc and Diana Show. This is Dr. Chad Edwards, and I wanted to talk about one of my passions. The reason that this is one of my passions is because it is the number one killer of men and women in this country, and has been since 1920. So what we're going to talk about is cardiovascular disease. This is a huge problem. Now, from 2000 to 2011, the cardiovascular disease uh, death rate and incidence declined on an annual basis. So we had been doing better. That was until 2015. And in 2015, the rate of cardiovascular disease was 41.5%, which, uh, which was a higher level than we anticipated for that time. In fact, that was not expected to be the incidence rate until 2035. I'm sorry, 2030 until 2030, so we are 15 years ahead of where we should be. It's going faster than we expect. It's growing faster than our ability to combat it. This is a major problem and it is incredibly expensive. There's a billion dollars a day in lost productivity and medical costs simply due to cardiovascular disease. Cardiovascular disease will kill two out of three men and one out of two women. Huge, huge problem. In fact, if you think about the number of people that die of cardiovascular disease every day, it's the same as four 747s filled with people crashing into the ground every day. It is a tremendous problem. There are five traditional risk factors that we identify in traditional medicine. Hypertension, obesity, tobacco, uh, hyperlipidemia, and diabetes. Those are the five things that we look for, and if you have those, then we say you're at higher risk. The problem is that if we only look at those five, we still miss 50% of heart attacks. 50% of people showing up to the emergency department having a heart attacks will not have been identified by only looking at those five traditional risk factors. In fact, there was a study that was published in a major journal that showed your LDL cholesterol levels in patients showing up to the emergency department having a heart attack was less than 108, 108 for your LDL. By all standards, that would be considered pretty darn good. The number one cause of cardiovascular disease, you'll have to stay tuned for another video on that one.